Hello everybody and welcome to my next video on creating user controls. So basically what a user control is, it gives you the ability to reuse uh, like a, a UI layout with its back end constantly again. So let's say you wanted to use this user registration register form um, on a different form possibly. You would have to uh, copy these controls and I'll just create another form here. We'll, uh, we'll just do Windows form and we'll call it form 2. You would literally have to copy all these controls over to here if you want to use it for maybe you even have a different application you want to use the register form or the register uh, controls with the code. You would literally have to copy this whole this whole uh, like layout here put it into form 2 and go to the back end and copy all this code and put it in form 2 as well back in here so what we want to do is we want to be able to reuse the same code over again without doing all that so what we can do is we can create a user control which gives us this ability to do that so um, what we can do is go over here and click add new item and we're going to look for user control which should be right there and we'll call this register control hit add and there we go this is our first control and it's kind of small so once you've created user control you will be able to find it in your toolbox and be able to drag and drop it onto many forms so let's just make it so right now we have a form here that's generally about this size and uh, the form is the same exact size for form 2 so what we can do is uh, we can first size the user control to fit like this kind of form. Um, you don't have to do this, but I want to make it look just like this one because otherwise the, if we drag and drop a user control, it's a different size. It may not appear correctly as if it was on the same size of this form. So it's A18497. So I'm just going to control C and I'm going to go over to the user control, click that, hit the size and just paste that size in and we'll size this control exactly the size of that form. And now, we're going to only have to do this one time, is copy, like I said before, but uh, putting into the user control, copy all, this, all these controls, put it over here, and align it properly within this user control. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to align this. And there we go. And now I want to go to the back end, grab all the code I did before. I did this uh, in my last tutorial on how to create a Windows form app. If you haven't already watched it, that'd be probably a great, like, just intro to figure out what I'm doing here um, with all this back end code and all that. And I'm just going to control C it. And I don't even need to have this code anymore. So I'm just going to delete it all and just save it as is. Take it over to this user control, hit view code, and I'm gonna paste it in here. There we go. And now I just have to hook it up to the front end, and the only thing we need to hook up is the submit button. So on a button click, we want to make a message box appear, um, showing if we successfully uh, submitted the form or not and Visual Studio has a nice way of allowing us to select handlers that we've uh, created before. And I'll just hit button submit click and that should be good there. And now I just need to go back over to form one, the original form where I got all these controls from that I just copy and pasted. And I'm just gonna delete all this because we no longer even need this. And uh, yeah, I deleted that already and form one and now I have form two. Now this is where the magic happens. So we got rid of all that. Um, I believe there's something wrong with one of the, an error during code. Oh yeah, so if you, uh, sometimes if you mess with certain things in forms, the designer file, which runs when you initialize component in the back end, um, doesn't work correctly. So if we go back to this and go to the designer file, there's probably something wrong in here. And we can go to this X, 
go to here and as you can see we deleted that button submit click handler from form one earlier and it hasn't deleted it from the designer file still so that makes everything not run I'm just gonna get rid of that and we should be good to go there and you, you'll figure this out that you'll have to probably go back into the designer file sometimes and actually manually delete stuff um, sometimes the program doesn't actually do that for you so it's you'll probably have to do it yourself and now um, we can delete all this stuff in the front end like or actually let me say that first then do that if I can no all right I'm just gonna delete it may I feel like I've um, possibly done this already but let me just uh, save it as is close it open it up and there we go now we're back to form one being blank and now since we made this user control here we can actually let me re move it over slightly um, more centered we can now just um, use it in both form one and form two without even having any of that uh, register code in the actual form itself so it's all grouped together nicely we don't have to copy and paste everything over to every single form that we want to use the register code in so now if I uh, have everything working correctly we can just drag and drop that user control over here so as you can see we got register control just drag it on and you might get this message too it failed to load toolbox item register control it's probably because we need to rebuild the project now we should have a register control popping up and we can just drag and drop it and there we go we got our register control and it's still not fitting exactly to size but we can uh, dock it so that it will fit so if we go here to dock and we select this one which is fill there we go register control is successfully uh, implemented into our form and we can also do it for this one as well go back here throw this baby in there and do the dock option and we're set now um, we're still running form one I believe so if we go to our program.cs we are running uh, form one form tutorial is the name of it but it's it says here form one um, so if we select this it's right here it's form tutorial so we're running this form um, so if we run it it look exactly like it did before and okay so now we want to switch over to our other application that uses our register form and like I said we put that user control on there so we can just go to our program.cs um, right here and we can change this to the form 2 to run it to run that one so go here start it up and as you can see we got our exact uh, register form code on both of these forms without having to copy and paste it over um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I uh, hope to see you guys next time and catch you all later